So, um, uh, as, as, as I was introduced, I work for uh, Web Portal Creek. Uh, our major investigation we also publish in English, so which means you can check our movie plot stories uh, later. And I also, we are partners of Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, which is global uh, network of investigative centers. Uh, Situation in Serbia is now like similar explained in a previous um, a presentation, but with one difference. Actually, we as a country, we had one period of, let's say, one decade when we developed uh, a lot uh, in terms of uh, EU integration and we built a lot of institutions and so on. But then in 2012 happened something similar, very similar to what happened in the United States in the last election. And since then, we really rapidly going, uh, going backwards. Uh, and society become too much polarized. So we will discuss about um, how we basically do journalism in this field. But first, I just want to introduce you to a couple of stories uh, that we discovered in the last two years. Uh, just to have a little bit of uh, flavor of uh, what kind of reporting we do. So... Uh, here, this is Hilary Swank, right? But she's not uh, one on the focus now. It's uh, her friend on the right side. It's uh, current mayor of Belgrade, Sinis Mali, And he's supposedly to be one of the most corrupted individuals in the country, at least according to our findings. And we break at le uh, five stories on him, engaging him in, in really big, uh, big corruption. One of the in one of the stories, we discovered that uh, through series of uh, offshore companies, he purchased 24 luxury apartments in this residential coast in Bulgaria. It was next to the sea. And he invested here um, something around, as we estimated, uh, 6 million euros. Of course, in the same time, he's just a mayor with one small, small salary, which is about 1,000 euros per month. Um, uh, of course, later in the story, as I say, we, you, you can even watch, we made a, made a video uh, we discover corruption deal that was behind with one Russian company and how basically he uh, earned this money. Uh, this is another case. Uh, last year, during the night, uh, this is one street very close to the center of capital of Serbia, Belgrade. Uh, suddenly, a group of masked individuals appeared around 1 o'clock in the night, and with them, four bulldozers, and they completely destroyed the full street and disappeared. And it was completely mystery why and who basically like completely destroyed the, the street, which is around like one kilometer from very, very, very center of town. It was very complex investigation through which, in the end, a long story short, we discovered that even the mayor is actually behind this. And this is the area where uh, some rich guys, actually the Prince family of United Arab Emirates, uh, want to build a uh, um, parking lot for their uh, projects. Uh, building some big shopping mall. So he tried to help them in this way by destroying the restaurants which were owned by private individuals. Uh, this is one of the most hardcore stories with a lot of problems we have later on. This is current Minister of Health. So in the story, basically, we discovered and uh, managed to, to uh, pull out a lot of proofs that, he, uh, that in 2001, when he was something around my age, 31 year old, uh, he was a doctor who worked in an emergency cl clinic. And uh, uh, we actually discovered that he co cooperated with one notorious criminal gang. It's called Zemun Gang, narco smuggling group, and that he assisted them in one murder. There's one guy which they shot on the street, but he survived. So they hired him as a young doctor to, and he injected uh, some substance and killed this guy uh, later in the hospital. And uh, he received one apartment in Belgrade as, um, as a bribe. And we managed to prove this uh, through documents and stuff, which you also can, can read. Um, I'll finish with this. This is like on... on um, um, uh, we do a lot of this because we have a strong um, organized crime groups in, in Balkan and in Serbia in general. And uh, in a lot of cases, we're proving these links between um, uh, crime groups and government officials. So. Here on the, on the right side is Rodolio Bradulo, which, which was one of the most influential uh, drug barons from Serbia. And he sits in restaurant with a guy on the left side, which was in that time, 2009, Minister of Police. And uh, we don't know, sorry, I mean, this is funny. And we did this story and it was big mess after it. But the thing is that after last election, last year, a Minister of Police was reappointed and he's now Minister of Foreign Affairs. So it got 
bit more further. Uh, we will come why, um, I, just to mention, we also do a lot of databases. This database is uh, pretty, pretty, I think, cool. We do database of assets of politicians, when you can see what property they own, why businesses they own, and how much incomes they have. And if you go, uh, you can even uh, put a list according from the richest to the poorest and this kind of stuff. So it is very uh, visited and uh, people like to, like to play with it. Um, uh, so. Uh, this is kind of the, 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 the major, major investigation. But now let's talk about environment in Serbia, which, as I said, was not like this four years ago. Four years ago was a completely different story. But then what happened, we have uh, some populist guys. Let's compare them to Trump. And really, uh, you can find a lot of, lot of lines that are connected. They, they gain the power. And of course, nothing happened over the night, but in, in five years, we developed in some completely opposite direction where uh, a lot of media, uh, freedom of media was, was destroyed and institution. Of course, um, we don't have a clear media censorship in a way that government have legal tools to censor media, but through sophisticated measures, mostly through financial terms, they managed really to shut down all the media. And uh, actually, all of our stories that I show you was not ended in the major media. It sounds crazy, but that happened. These are the basically uh, the major problems that we are facing reporting. Uh, big media self-censorship. So there is no one single mainstream uh, TV station, newspaper that is ready to publish any kind of criticism. Uh, very much polarized society, so it's like split it in two. Uh, half of society always votes for uh, the guy on the right side who was prime minister for four years and now uh, since last month he's president, so he's just switched another position. And other part of society sees him as a dictator. Um, uh, it's not possible when you uh, uh, are independent media to get any advertisement money, that's a big problem. And the thing is that uh, most of the private companies are afraid to basically um, you know, advertise in independent media. Because if they do, they will be under big pressures from the government, you know, financial inspections and so on. Um, it is an unsafe environment, not in a way like that government will send somebody to kill you, but the um, but atmosphere that the government is creating through smear campaigns can kind of uh, mobilize a lot of citizens who are on the edge to send threats to the journalists and even to attack them. Uh, and uh, what is special about Serbia, and I'll show you next, is the smear campaigns, which are in my country uh, in some uh, really bizarre level. And of course, uh, Serbia is really independent of opinion of European Union, because we are very close to join it. We are in this process. And what happened a um, uh, uh, couple of years ago, kind of inside of the European Union, which really affected Serbia is that um, a political point of view changed from uh, being a rule of law and democracy in the first place to this sentence. First comes stability, then human rights. And suddenly what's happening in EU, which is not just the case with Serbia, it's with Macedonia, Montenegro, even with Turkey, is suddenly having an idea that it's better to have a strong leader, which you who dealt, than to really support democracy inside of the country. That really affected that we come in this direction that we went to. Uh, this is just um, interesting, just to see, um, this is one NGO that did uh, media monitoring during the presidential campaign. So you can see how much each of candidates have access to media. And on the first side is current president, and this is the, all the rest of opposition, which all together didn't have uh, close to what he had. So it's the media are completely completely on his side and, and, and block for any kind of crit criticism. Uh, uh, smear campaigns, this is something um, which uh, become a very interesting model in Serbia. So this is some, one of the front pages and uh, 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 articles in me. It's one of uh, tens, hundreds, I don't know. So basically here they are accusing me that I work on the guy on the right side, which is George Soros, right? Because since we cannot gather money from uh, private uh, sector, we can just do crowdfunding and we basically apply to the projects um, uh, and so we have uh, and to donators. So uh, this was commonly used by government to uh, present the fact that we fundraising 
from donors such as uh, Open Society that basically we work for them. And of course you have all these kind of theories that will come about George Soros being some kind of guy from the shadow wants to collapse our government. Uh, then, for instance, um, on, the, on, the, on the left side is another front page with me. Uh, this photo is, is, is uh, taken by uh, Intelligence, Secret Service. So the guy on the right, uh, on the right side, actually left, my left side is the guy uh, who uh, is connected to criminal environment. Let's say I do a lot of crime reporting and I even published one book on narco cartel and of course I have sources in the crime underworld. So the intelligence basically, which is heavily used to monitor uh, by government uh, uh, journalists, they took this photo and published in, in tabloid in the time when we were investigating the, the property and assets of our prime minister. And they claim uh, down there that basically uh, mafia through me trying to attack the family of prime minister. So this is kind of the, the, stuff, the stuff they do. Of course, this photo was taken like a year before it. And my meeting with this person doesn't have anything to, uh, with this research that was current. Uh, this was also followed by strong attacks and pressures on, on your sources. So usually if you have sources in public company, when they discover him, they will just fire him. If he's private enterprise, they will send a financial inspection and so on. On the left side, they go with more personal attacks. So this was uh, the, the also front page in articles that they claim that in my sexual life, I am a sadomasochist. And so they go in these details. And <laughs> so you have, also, you have also articles that I'm Satanist, you know, and like ultimately bad guy against prime minister who's always portrayed as the as a most uh, perfect and uh, most moral, moral individual. Uh, of course, I'm, I was not the only one. On, on, the, on this front page, this is the, the Ombudsman, Human Rights Defender, who's a state institution. And he opened one case which Prime Minister didn't like. So they dig out from archives and find the case that best friend, his best friend when he was a teenager, uh, committed suicide in his apartment while he was not there. And then he came in apartment, found his dead friend, and reported to police, and the case was closed decades ago. But now they reopened this old case, and they start attacking him newspaper, claiming that he's the one, actually, who killed uh, his best friend. And this was a campaign that lasted for two years. Uh, two months, sorry. And after this campaign, the whole uh, state structure refused to communicate with ombudsman, who's part of the state, right? So they were not accepting his calls for meetings and all claiming that, I mean, he's murderer, so we, we cannot sit on the table with murderer. So this is basically what they do. This is uh, one of the sickest example. On the uh, right side is Vanya Chalovic. She's director of um, leading anti-corruption uh, NGO in, uh, in Montenegro, which is close to the Serbia and basically very, very, very connected states. Uh, so they found uh, uh, some video uh, of uh, a girl having sex with a dog. Bad quality video with girl that visually looks like her. And they were like for three, four months publishing this on front page, claiming that it's her, actually calling her to admit that it's her. And in the small country like Montenegro, where the whole country is like 300,000 citizens, really traditional country, this kind of stuff, um, when you start publishing against female, it's, it's really put you in... Um, uh, in difficult uh, decisions. So I just want to give you a little bit of favor what anyone who's trying to step up against government can survive. And this newspaper, I pick it for one reason, is the, with the biggest circulation in Serbia, this one. So it's not some, uh, you know, small independent, it's like the biggest, and it's followed by TV with also biggest circulation, it's called TV Pink, which always follow this publication, publishing on TV. Okay, um, I'm sorry I didn't have much time. Uh, I, um, I will, um, just uh, fastly finish. This is um, the story on the 24 apartments on, on, of Mayor of Belgrade. So this is one of the, it become viral. So it's like one of the memes that uh, it's kind of mailbox with 24, I think, uh, that, was, uh, that was done. So um, and, um, this, is, uh, this is the, um, uh, we did uh, even cartoon video of this case of Minister of Health who, who was participating in murder. So, but um, uh, what I wanted uh, to, um, uh, to tell now is that um, uh, that uh, still in this, uh, the, the biggest problem that you're facing working in this environment is that usually when uh, society become polarized, then you kind of in, uh, feel that you also need to be polarized. Like uh, this really affects media. 
So it's kind of you get close to speaking just with your audience. So we have big audience on internet, but there's two, two Serbias. I mean, there's two, two societies inside of one. Like we can make some powers to here. And um, a big move which we made is when we uh, changed from just reporting to our, our own audience and trying to expand to other audience who's kind of um, instinctively against us. So what I'm saying, if for instance, um, you report um, against Trump just um, to uh, Hillary supporters, for instance, um, of course, uh, uh, um, you can inform them about some new cases, but in the basic, they don't learn much. They'll just come and pick from your news um, kind of new arguments for the for what they already believe. But it's very important to find a way how to approach to another part in which we actually, we actually are now developing new models and we actually tr uh, more and more uh, getting into audience who is actually for, for, for pro-governmental and against us. Sorry, I need, um, we can take more details later, so I will stop now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>